Hello, dear participants. My name is um, Tadjila Ferrada. I'm currently working for the Department of Economics at Addis Ababa University in Ethiopia. I'm Associate Professor of Economics um, with several years of teaching and um, research, as well as advisory, advisory services. Um, in this module, we'll be dealing with um, the issues of sustainable development, that uh, deals with conceptualizing sustainable development. Now, let us go to the first, the first session, conceptualizing sustainable development um, um, in general. Uh, in, 19, uh, in 1987, the Brutland Commission published its report, Our Common Future, in an effort to link the issues of economic development with environmental sustainability. This was some, um, more than 30 years back. The report provides a widely cited definition of sustainable development, uh, which is development that meets meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Uh, this is how the World Commission on Environment and Development defined um, sustainable development. It considers not only the present generation, but also uh, the future, the future generation. Sustainable development represents a paradigm shift in linking the economy, society, and the environment. There are three dimensions here. The first one is the economy, the second one is society, and third dimension is um, the environment. So the su sustainable development has three pillars, economy, society, and, and the environment. Um, now, uh, if you look at this, three pillars, uh, economic development uh, is one of the pillars of sustainable um, development. A system is said to be economically sustainable if it produces goods and services on a continuing basis. And this requires maintenance of different kinds of capital that make economic production possible um, must be maintained and or augmented. That is the whole issue of economic development. Um, it, it, is, it is supported by augmentation of um, capital. The second pillar, which is social development, uh, looks like the following. A socially sustainable system must achieve fairness in the distribution and opportunity adequate provision of social services, including health and education, gender equity, and political accountability and participation. That's the whole issue of social, social development. The third dimension is environmental protection. An environmentally sustainable system ensures a stable resource base, including maintenance of biodiversity, atmospheric stability, and other econo ecosystem functions. If you look at these three dimensions in a Venn diagram, uh, if you are aware of about this Venn diagram in mathematics, we can illustrate the intersection and the interaction of sustainable, the three pillars of sustainable development. The intersection between economy and social development is what you call equitable distribution, what you call inclusive um, development. By inclusive development, meaning that there is economic development, that economic development should be inclusive. That it requires participation of a large segment of society. So the intersection between social and economic development is um, inclusivity or um, distributional issues. And the common, the intersection between social and the environment is the bearing capacity of uh, the bearing capacity uh, variable, meaning that um, the societies must must uh, must ensure that um, while meeting their needs, um, the environment should be protected and and preserved. So uh, that the social needs must be satisfied with ad adequate protection of the environment. That's the caring capacity of um, the, the environment. 
Now, the last one is the intersection between environment and economic development. I mean, that is viable. I mean, this interaction is said to be viable. Meaning that the intersection between the economic development and environmental protection, what you call um, green, green, green development. Green development, meaning that any economic development must take into account uh, environmental issues. Now, so green development does not necessarily mean um, inclusive um, uh, development. And inclusive development does not necessarily mean or lead to um, uh, green, green development. So we need for sustainable development to happen, we need to have green development as well as inclusive development and also the caring capacity of the environment. So sustainable development is the intersection of the social, economic, and environmental dimensions at the, at the, at the center of these three di diagrams. That's what we call sustainable development. It must be inclusive. At the same time, it must be green. That is the whole notion of um, sustainable development. Now, if with that conceptualization and understanding of um, uh, sustainable development, which in consists of social, economic, and environment, let us look at the past and the current sustainable development frameworks um, around the globe. Uh, even even within 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 Africa, in 2000, about 189 countries endorsed what you call the Millennium Development Goals or MDGs, to which served as a development paradigm and organizing framework between 2000 and 2015. So 189 countries adopted this one, endorsed uh, um, this MDGs um, in 2000. MDGs provided one of the most important global agreements where governments, non-governmental organizations, business came together to fight poverty, hunger, and other global, global issues like environmental issues, climate change, HIV AIDS, and, and others. UN, United Nations General Assembly Resolution 55 number two outlined eight goals and 21 targets aimed at reducing poverty and promoting sustainable development. This means that MDGs consists of eight goals and 21 targets, according to the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 55, number, number two. So uh, MDGs had, had eight, eight goals and 21 targets. Now, reports indicate that MDGs have lifted million, millions of people out of poverty empowered women girl and girls, improve health and well-being, and provide vast new opportunities for better, better life. This, this, the UN report uh, um, indicated that there, has, there have been substantial achievements um, with regard to MDGs. On September 25, 2015, world leader, leaders adopted what you call the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, which is a universal and transformative global development agenda, or in some, broadly speaking, the 2030 agenda. The 2030 agenda itself consists of four components. First, a political declaration by member countries. Second, a set of 17 Sustainable Development Goals, and 169 targets. Third, means of implementation. Fourth, a framework for follow-up and a review of agenda. If you look at the main difference between SDGs and MDGs is that SDGs are, uh, SDGs are much broader, including 17 goals and 169 targets. While MDGs consisted of only eight goals and 21 targets. So the 2030 agenda is much, much broader than the MD, uh, MDGs. And another difference between MDGs and SDGs is that SDGs are universal goals, 
that apply to every nation, not just developing countries, every nation. Unlike MDGs, which were designed mainly for developing countries, SDGs um, should be should be applied to um, all all countries. That's that what's called universality. So SDGs consists of uh, 17 goals, 169 targets, and around 231 indicators. Now, um, in the MDG track, uh, we had two parallel tracks. Uh, the first one is the MDG track, which focused strongly on social dimension, like education and health. And there was another track, what we call sustainable development track, which focuses on environmental sustainability. Now, the S SDGs or the Agenda 2030 brought this together in a, a unifying framework so that everything will be in a holistic, holistic uh, fashion. It is not wise to implement environmental protection without econo economic development, without social development. So everything should be implemented in, in a coordinated and um, in a holistic, holistic manner. Now, the, the next issue will be, what are the underlying principles of SDGs? Uh, SDGs have several uh, principles. The first one is leave no one behind. Meaning, what does that mean? SDGs are designed to be inclusive. They take into account the needs of all, including disabled citizens, minorities, children, women, and marginalized all vulnerable communities. So. Uh, leave no one, leave no one behind. Simply means that the focus should be on those marginalized, those who live farther and most vulnerable. The second uh, principle is integrated nature. SDGs require a holistic and multidimensional approach and avoid fragmentation. There is no benefit or little benefit of silo implementation of policies and strategies. So sectoral policies should be integrated, should be um, coordinated in a manner to achieve a universal, a, a, a universal goal. So integration and holistic framework is um, one of the key pre, uh, uh, principles of um, SDGs. The third principle is partnership-based approach. This involves establishing alliance with local stakeholders, including private companies, trade unions, associations, foundations, citizen, citizenship, and other, other international organizations. So it involves including uh, relevant stakeholders in a more inclusive, inclusive manner. The fourth principle is multi-level governance. SDGs seek alliances, coordination, and joint work with other levels of government. For example, local, regional, national levels of government, as well as with neighboring territories and countries. Accountability is the last principle of SDGs. At the center of SDGs is establishment of mechanisms of minority uh, monitoring and evaluation. And that, that involves indicators and data, and as well as reporting. I will, will come to that in a minute, how this accountability or this monitoring and evaluation is central in the um, reporting mechanisms of um, SDGs. Now, let us, let us come to the regional uh, sustainable development frameworks, meaning that the Africa-wide um, sustainable development framework. The widely and adopted um, sustainable development framework is what we call Agenda 2063, the Africa we want agenda. Agenda 2063 reflects the totality of Africa's development priorities 
including region-specific transboundary priorities. The agenda consists of seven aspirations, 20 goals, 39 priority areas, 256 targets, and more than 248 indicators. You see that the difference between SDGs and, and Agenda 2063. Agenda 2063 is much broader than SDGs. That's 20 goals. In the case of Agenda 2063, um, and 20, 256 targets and more than 248 indicators, which, which is by far more comprehensive than SDGs. And there is a commonality between Agenda 2063 and uh, the 2030 Agenda or SDGs. Both SDGs and Agenda 2063 provide the global and regional enabling environment required for Africa's transformation. Meaning that Africa is in a, du a dual transition. Duality comes from one. First, there's SDGs. Second, there's Africa-wide agenda, what you call Agenda 2063. So the duality is this: Africa should 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 needs to implement these two um, agendas. Um, both agendas recognize the current problems and issues confronting the planet. That's this, this, the similarity between these two agendas. SDGs and um, Agenda 2063 provide pro priority for poverty reduction, eradication, greater equity in the distribution of income, climate change, social assets, and improvements in social service delivery for all social groups. That's inclusiveness. Both agendas cover social, environmental, economic uh, dimensions of sustainable development. In fact, SDGs and Agenda 2063 aim to achieve inclusive and sustainable structural transformation underpinned by sustainable development in all dimensions. Please note that both agendas intend intend to achieve inclusive as well as sustainable structural transformation. It's not only sustainable, it must be inclusive in all dimensions. Now, let us look at a little bit on conceptualization of what you call inclusive green economy. This is another framework of sustainable development. Uh, inclusive economy, concerns with the welfare of the current generation and an unequitable distribution of welfare gains through generation of jobs and employment. Now, this refers to the intersection between what you call the enviro, the social dimension and the economic dimension. That the intersection between economic and social, what you call inclusive economy. It, it, it deals with simply the distribution of income through um, more jobs, and um, and employment. Now, a remark is in order here. An inclusive economy is not necessarily green or sustainable. Hence, it does not guarantee to safeguard the future generation and environment. For, from that perspective, economies must be made both green and inclusive, hence inclusive green economy. Inclusive green economy consists of um, or considers economy, environment, and social through investment in human, manufactured, and natural capital. So inclusive green economy is one that results in an improved welfare, welfare and social equity, and, and at the same time reducing ecological risks. This is the United Nations um, uh, Environment Program definition, UNEP definition. Inclusive green economy provides concrete policy frameworks on how economic development and environmental systems can reinforce each other 
and create a win-win synergy to achieve the three pillars of sustainable development. It's, it's, it's a, a means of operationalizing sustainable development. IGE, which what, that means inclusive green economy, does promote sustainable de development through greening the brown economy and supporting the green economy through appropriate fiscal incentives and policies like climate resilient green economy strategy or energy green energy policy and what have an inclusive green economy helps to achieve sustainable development through one a low carbon and climate resilient development pathway second improving resource efficiency third ensuring healthy and more resilient ecosystems for greater economic opportunities and social justice for marginalized marginalized um, groups so an inclusive green economy uh, helps achieve sustainable development in multiple um, uh, fronts so that is basically conceptualization of sustainable development 